Here is a quick camper van conversion I did this past summer with my 2006 Dodge Caravan, which as you know is a minivan, and for me, camping with my folks this summer, it was great. There was no time wasted setting up a tent on a cold lumpy ground. I just pull up and I'm pretty much all set up. I've seen a few minivan conversion videos, and even though this one is not as serious as some of the videos I've seen, I think it's a great way to camp and see if the van life is for you. Because after your weekend of camping, you can quickly convert it back to a normal minivan again. One of the main reasons why I love these vans are for the stow-and-go seats, which are folded into the floor. Except for the back row because I took them out for extra storage after I bought the van back in May. This allowed me to put in a table in the back, so naturally I had to bring my VCR with an LCD screen so I could watch movies. There is a DVD player and a screen in the van itself, but it's pretty small and it faces the other way. I also collect more VHS than DVDs. So I watched 1981's Dragon Slayer. There's something really cozy about watching VHS in a cabin, or in this case, a minivan, which are like little cabins, especially with all the wood paneling I've been seeing people installing on Instagram. Again, for this temporary setup, I use a single mattress as my bed, and I always have good sleeps on it. I put up these brown makeshift curtains just by pinning them to the van's interior. This van is a bit of a beater, so I'm not worried about cosmetic damage. My plan was to black out all the windows with bristle board, but I only got as far as the two backside windows. The curtains did the trick though. I'm a tall guy, so the height was just perfect for my feet to go under the table. For AC, we had a power sight, so I just plugged in using a long extension cord. But for this video that I shot in my backyard, I have hooked up my 1000 watt inverter, and it works good. In my old van, which was pretty much exactly the same, the cigarette lighter powered the VCR and LCD monitor, but for some reason this one doesn't, yet the USB still works. I also carry a booster pack, just in case, which has a light, and can charge USB devices, and it's also an air compressor. A laundry basket in the back for random stuff like rubber boots and rain gear. I've been camping this way for two years now. Not that I camp a lot, but it's pretty fun to live the van life for the weekend. I would like to do this for a longer countrywide trip sometime in the future. And here's how the van normally looks before and after the conversion. Very easy conversion for the weekend van lifer. I can totally see why the van life way of living has become such a trend. 